would you offer to a sweet tooth? A mini cake, a tiny Mars bar, or a matchbox sized breakfast cereal? Choose your favorite yummy and change its size. How? Watch it in our new video. Dolly is eating the third portion of breakfast cereal. How can she eat so much? Apparently, she is very hungry in the morning. I get it, but she's making the fourth bowl right now. Dolly, stop before it's too late, or reduce your portions at least. Cover an empty matchbox with acrylic paint. Attach a cardboard strip bottom to it. Cut two mini pictures of a cornflakes package. Make a flap on one and a cut on the other and attach it to the box with double-sided tape. Crumble cornflakes and put them into the box and close the flap. Dolly is contemplating what to do with this little box of breakfast cereal. The only thing she can do is to hide it in her pocket. It's great that she still has one more regular pack. Blondie didn't find it. Oops, I caught you. Calm down, Blondie. Dolly just likes the cornflakes. We arranged a real butterfly hunt, but these bright babies are so quick that they escape from our butterfly nets. Maybe we will be lucky to catch something interesting with our nets. A mini chocolate bar, for instance. Cut off a strip of wafer. Chop fried peanuts. Apply a layer of condensed milk to the wafer and put the peanuts on top. Cover it with melted milk chocolate. Put on the peanuts again and let it harden. Make a small lion chocolate bar package. Trim the edges. This baby is named Lion, but it is actually only a cub. And my friend found a small Nesquik wafer in her net. Cut off a piece of wafer with chocolate filling. Pour melted chocolate on top. Make a mini Nesquik wafer package and put in the mini wafer. Cut out the zigzag edges. The hunt is a success. We didn't get any butterflies, but the mini lion and Nesquik are a good substitution. They will make our day. Dolly comes to the kitchen looking for yummies as usual. I wonder who's left a teeny Reese's candy here. And not only the candy, someone's left a Thumbelina girl here. Hey, is it your candy? Melt milk chocolate. Pour it into a small mold, filling only half of it, and put it into a fridge. Crumble a wafer bar, and mix it with condensed milk. Compact the filling into the mold, and put the melted chocolate on top of it. Let it harden. Attach foil to the back of a printed out Reese's candy label. Put in the candies. Fasten the package. The teeny girl is so small. Its size is just the same as the candy. She gives Dolly the mini Reese's gladly. Help yourself. I've got Skittles, but my new friend, the teeny girl, sees the bright package. She wants Skittles too. Share it with me, please. But this huge package can squash her. I've got an idea. I will make mini Skittles for this mini girl. Sprinkle a board with starch and roll out colored fondant. Cut out small circles with a cocktail straw. Shape them into Skittles drops with your fingers. Make candies of different colors. Double tape a mini Skittles package and put in the mini candies. Trim the edges. Dolly gives her new friend the mini Skittles. This tiny package is just of the right size for the tiny girl. Exactly what a fairy sized girl needs. It's time to have a boost. How about coffee? I've got two Nescafe sticks, but the tiny girl needs a smaller stick. 
Print out a mini Nescafe stick picture. Cut it out and double tape the package. Put in regular coffee. I make one Nescafe stick smaller and make the coffee in a toy cup. It's perfect for the tiny girl. It fits well in her little hands. Now each of the girls has her coffee portion in a cup of the appropriate size. The tiny girl's got something special for her new friend, Nutella. It's of the perfect size for herself, but Dolly needs a magnifying glass to see this pack of chocolate spread. Cut two one-inch long pieces of a drinking straw, shape them into triangles, and put them together. Make a frame for the mini straws using cardboard. Hot glue the bottom. Paint the cardboard brown. Attach a mini Nutella and Go label. Cut spaghetti into one-inch pieces and put them into one straw. Heat up some Nutella and put it into the second one. Use a syringe to make the job easier. Cut out a top from self-adhesive foil and attach a Nutella logo to it. The tiny girl's gift is not enough for big people, so Dolly increases it quickly. Now it's okay. Help yourself, tiny girl but she can sink in the big package easily. She won't be able to cope with this Nutella. It seems that Dolly has an appropriate yummy for the tiny girl somewhere. Here they are, the little drops. It's the extra small size. Melt a few candies in a spoon over a candle. Use a toothpick to shape little drops. Put them on parchment paper. Let them harden. Melt the candies of different colors. Coat a small metallic box with acrylic paint. Attach a mini fruit drops label to the lid. Put the tiny candies into the box. The mini girl gets her drops. I wonder what they taste like. Boom! Suddenly the tiny one turns into a real sized girl. Apparently these drops have an increasing effect. Is it forever? The ex-tiny girl is telling her amazing story to her friend. She used to be a greedy sweet tooth and there were never enough candies for her. So the candy fairy made her small to teach her a lesson. Dolly is listening to this jaw-dropping story. It's great that the girl is big again and there is only a mini Mars reminding her of her previous life. Cut off a small toffee candy piece. Pull it up to get a thin strip. Put a nougat piece on top and cover the mini bar with melted milk chocolate. Let it harden. Cut out a small chocolate name from the Mars wrapper. Double tape the package. Put in the mini bar. Dolly didn't notice that she ate the whole Mars bar in a couple of bites. As for the ex-tiny girl, she gets nostalgic when she remembers her minimalistic period. Being small has its advantages. For example, you look slimmer on all the photos. Dolly totally forgets that she has prepared a sweet gift for her mini friend. This is a tiny masterpiece of confectionery art. Attach two Oreo cookies together. Use Oreo filling for fastening. Roll out pink fondant. Trace the cookie on it. Draw melting glaze with a food marker. Cover the cookie with Nutella and attach the fondant. Dampen the fondant with water. Insert two toothpicks. Cut thin ribbon into half inch pieces. Fasten them to make flags on the thread. Attach the string of flags to the toothpicks. Decorate the cake with sprinkles. Dolly gives her mini cake to her friend. Unfortunately, she's a bit late. This dessert was supposed to be a present for the miniature girl, but she's increased, and now it looks more like a tiny muffin. Anyway, it's sweet and delicious. 
Did you like the weird sweet ideas? Then write in your comments which yummies you liked the most. And don't forget to give your thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and click the bell so that you don't miss new delicious ideas on the Troom Troom channel.